Yes, 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 you man, rise up. It's Sunday, it's that fucking time. So for improvement Sunday, can't lie, this one here is why I should just start taking life serious from a young age, bro. Have you real? <coughs> Everyone that that looks back always thinks, oh, I wish I patterned up even earlier because you would have been even in a way better position now just because that's how time works, isn't it? Because the earlier you start, the earlier you'll get the rewards. Let me put it like that. And bro, don't you want to see your rewards as quick as quickly as you possibly can? That's why, I, personally, for me, I think you should just take school, take it, start off with school. Just take that serious, still, especially GCSEs. Like Sats, cool. Sats is your time to fuck about, isn't it? But when GCSE rolls through, I'm telling you, the revising for it, you might think, yeah, no, it's long. Oh, GCSEs, what's that even gonna do for my life? Can't lie, it's the principle still. Like it teaches you how to pattern up. It teaches you, yeah, say so, you nothing, know, no more fun. Like now I know it's serious mode. I need to revise and pattern these exams, car. Like that's your first proper like difficult test as a UK person. Like that's where you're you're just you're put to your test, innit? So from then. And also people take it playing sports from a young age as well. If you know you're good. If you know you're better than everyone on your team, and like you know you're you're sad, take it seriously, bro. Like if you're looking around and those teams you join, you're the best player, best player in your school. Like there's not a lot of man better than you in your borough, bro. Take that shit seriously, especially if you're, if you're from a London borough, because there's so many people. Like the opportunities are crazy. Like don't get don't get swayed away with doing road and doing shit like that. Cause it's kind of that's that's a trap, bro. That's a that's a myth. That's a myth, G. Just find something you're good at and just run with it. Still. Yeah, fully. very hard and yeah like it was my first really test of working really really hard and, and I started love I started liking working hard so it's not about like people say oh it's just like it doesn't tell me nothing yeah that's correct but like if you want to test yourself and grow like you're gonna have to work hard eventually in life and as a young person you're not having any business or anything like that that's gonna be your like a thing that you could work hard towards to earn like a good reward like a good reward and getting good grades and that just enjoying yourself and again to a good sixth form so yeah it's a principle it's really the principle that counts because look think about it like this bro imagine there's people that pattern up hella early people that pattern up hella young and there's people that don't pattern up at all and then think about it like this who's who's going through the coldest life like who do you see and think like yeah nah this guy's doing his thing he's enjoying himself making bread, doing everything he wants to do, whenever he wants to do, that's always going to be the person that started first, started the youngest. Because, bro, you're not trying to be some old man, yeah? Well, not even old man, like, 20, 30. Actually, let me say, like, 30 years old, and you're just doing nothing, bro. Like, that's peak, G. Like, you, imagine you're one of them, man, that's, like, warehouse job. Like, you should wake up, work, come home, eat, chill for, like, an hour and a half, go sleep every single day for the rest of your life like bro i used to work work in a warehouse i know it was like in it bro that's that is such a rub out bro to do that for the rest of your life like as someone that's done it bro it's so peak it's draining like you're not doing anything and it's still mentally draining like takes up all your day all your energy you can't go to gym like there's so much stuff that's restricted but sometimes you just have to get a job in it 
he has to start somewhere. But like, yeah, you just don't want to be in that situation where you're just sh- doing some shit job that you know you hate differently, and then you got no energy to do anything else. Like it's draining you, like mentally, just because you wanted to party, drink, smoke weed, like bark it. Well, man, smokes as well. I, I won't cap, but like. If you keep it in like regulation, you're still doing your shit. Then it, it's not as bad. But obviously, it's not good in it. But yeah, it's like I can't lie. It's a killer still. Just have it. Just having that shit job. Everyone's been through having a shit job, in it. It's not fun at all. Yeah, like it's also mental health. Like it's mental health. Like it's if you don't pan up in life now, then eventually you're gonna you're gonna have to like it's it's gonna come like you. You're gonna face it one day as well. You're gonna everyone hits that realization process, and that realization, not effect, but yeah, hundred that spirit that awakening, G. When you clock, bro, like raw. This is this is real. This is real, isn't it? Like this is my life. I need to do something. Yeah, you have one life, and like some people realize it when they're thirty, but if you're blessed to realize it when you're like seventeen, eighteen, like imagine the years you're you're ahead of everybody. Like, like loads of people don't think like me and bro here like this you think people do but they actually don't people will take a laid-back approach to life and then they get hit with awakening when they're 30 or 27 or hit when they finish uni but oh yeah have your you don't want to go through that right after uni still because that's tough bro that's going to be tough on your mental g can't find no job like you got a degree but you're not sure what you want to do with it that's something for the uni students i can't lie, my older brother told me this one Make sure you have your job pattern before you leave uni or something you want to do before you leave uni because you're going to put yourself in a very stressful situation. So shout out to Big Bro for that one. But yeah, go on, carry on. You have to start looking, you have to start looking like six months before your dissertation is submitted in. So you, you don't just walk into like, <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, man, man. you guys definitely take life seriously, 100%. Man. If you're not taking life seriously, then you're lacking on growing in a way because if you take if you have some laid back approach to life your life must be shit in a way because you're always stuck just doing the same shit not growing not never being uncomfortable or just um doing things that like you didn't think you was gonna do so definitely get on your ass like i'm not saying you start reading books or anything just start taking life more seriously like start doing things that can put you in positions in the future where you've got money where you're, even physically it's not all about money it's all about like um how you look like for example like if if, some, if you're some fat shit yeah and doesn't go gym you just you just look ugly yeah it comes to physically um your first challenge might be going to the gym because you have to work hard to get the results you want to get so do it so, you have to work very hard for that still yeah 100 percent. yeah Oh yeah, when you when we say taking that serious, it doesn't have to just be like it. It can be in a lot of different aspects. Like it can be from like taking sports more serious, going gym, like watching your diet, like or trying something new, like trying content creation, or maybe you're like learning crypto. Like there's hella different ways, isn't it? It's not just like one specific thing. Like it's different for everyone, isn't it? For what they want to do as well. Like tailor it to what you want to do, not what. You want or what you see someone else doing that you think, oh yeah, this works. Let me just copy my man. Yeah, more time, yeah, more time. I see a lot of people copying their friends nowadays. Like, like I always advocate my account. Like, I wouldn't recommend doing the same thing as your friends do because, like, you want to be friends with people that do different things to you. So, like, it's quite your conversation is not always the same thing. Like, um, so don't just because your friends are doing crypto doesn't mean you have to do it. Like, just because they're spending time learning crypto um doesn't mean you need to spend time learning crypto like if you're good at sports yeah and you're good at like uh stocks or like something else like you're good at making content on tiktok and they and then they're good at they're good they're good at doing uh crypto don't follow them don't quit what you're doing just to study crypto because your friends are doing it like do your own thing like the same thing with youtubers like always do content that you want to do not what people want to do obviously yeah you take recommendations but make, do content that you want to do do things in life that you want to do like trust me it will help you out in the long run because bro think about it like this like, i'm gonna compare it to school in it like a lot of men didn't revise because they didn't want to they didn't enjoy it so there was no reason like then that man didn't really see any like 
reason to revise that. They just didn't discipline it like that, bro. But when it's something you enjoy and something that are oh, like you know you're good at, like it's a lot more fun, isn't it? Like you, you, you. It's more personally for me. It's very satisfying still doing something you know you're good at while you're enjoying it and you're making peace from it at the same time, bro. Crazy. It's like a. It's like everything mixing into one world at the same time, bro. Oh. You guys need to understand that if you take life seriously from young, you're gonna be patterned like, like everyone's journey is different. Like everyone's got their own different time, but if you take life seriously and give it a shot, like, cause life's life's hard. Like, when when you want something in life, life's gonna hit you with something called Murphy Law, where you think you you have dreams and all this stuff, and then life just punks you in your face and says, "Do you really want this?" And then it tests you. You either like fall to the ground and cry or get up and show like I actually want this life that I want. So just give it your all in it. Like what what can you lose? You only learn. For all turn them L's into lessons. But yeah, people, that's it for today. It's been me. It's been Ams. Hope you man enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Love.